Derrick Rose was the youngest MVP in NBA history at just 22 years old. But just one year later, Derrick Rose would experience an ACL injury that would change the trajectory of his career forever. Today, we are changing that by letting three different wheels control his entire career. And obviously, starts his career on the Bulls, joining a young Yoki Noah and Luol Deng. Our first challenge for Derrick Rose on the challenge wheel is to win an in-season award which Derrick Rose is able to do pretty comfortably, winning the Rookie of the Year. The Bulls do miss the playoffs though, finishing as the 14th seed in the East. Luckily, the Bulls land the fourth pick in the 2009 NBA Draft. And with the Wizards making a terrible pick, the Bulls are able to draft James Harden. And here is our upgrade wheel for Derrick Rose for winning the Rookie of the Year award. And it looks like plus two overall defense. And so this pushes Rose from an 84 overall all the way up to an 86. But it's going to be harder to get upgrades. Let's see what our challenge wheel is going to be here. And it looks like we have to make the second round. But the Bulls need to get through LeBron first. Unfortunately, being dominated by him in a quick five games. Luckily, Derrick Rose locks in during the offseason, reaching in 90 overall. However, he's going to have to take a downgrade. And it looks like he's going to lose all of his dribbling badges, whichever one he has. Is. Which means Derrick Rose is at an 87 overall, heading into his third season. Heading into season number three is going to be to make the playoffs. Finally, that is an easy challenge. And in 2011, it's not an MVP, but he does make his first All-NBA team finally winning his first playoff series, averaging a solid 25 points, matching up against an established Celtics team. The Celtics take a quick 2-1 lead, with game four being super close late in the fourth quarter. Here are the Celtics down three. We don't want to go down 3-1. Rondo in the paint. He's going to put up a tough shot and hit it. This is my first time seeing NBA 2K24 simulated, especially since that shot went in. Here's Derrick Rose, though. Trying to drive inside on Kevin Garnett. Gets a tough layup. Ray Allen out to Paul Pierce. Pulls another three. It's a miss. And the Bulls looking like they're going to steal this game. But it's the Celtics winning game five in a blowout. Beating the Bulls in six games. After training with Team USA for the 2012 Olympics, Derrick Rose hits 91 overall. But a new challenge emerges for Rose as the big three in Miami is formed. He is already at a 91 overall, so this is only gonna help him. That is fire if we get it, yes! Plus two overall shooting! And our challenge for Derrick Rose in order to receive an upgrade this season is going to be to make the conference finals, which we haven't done yet. I feel like this is the year we do it though. Thanks to James Harden and some of their role players, Derrick Rose wins the MVP in 2012. In round one, the Bulls get their revenge on the Celtics completely sweeping them, and then take down the Wizards in another easy series. As expected, it's the Heat in the conference finals, where the Heat take a 3-2 lead, the Bulls having no answer for LeBron. However, they fight till the end in game six. They need a bucket now. Here is Rose with it. That might be a charge, oh my God. Is that really a charge, man? What is that call? D-Wade inside, good layup, and it's good. Very, very close series, but it's just not enough. The Heat win in six games. After winning gold in the 2012 Olympics, Derrick Rose hits the 95 overall mark. Since Derrick Rose did make the conference finals, he does get an upgrade. Let's go ahead and see what that will be. And it looks like, ooh, Derrick Rose is gonna be growing three inches. That moves his overall plus one from a 95. I think something difficult should be here. Make the conference finals again. We could do that. At 6'6", his stats get even better. And it's back-to-back -back MVPs for Derrick Rose. As Harden and Rose quickly become the best duo in the league, they sweep through their first round matchup and then destroy the Pistons in round two. Once again, it's time for the second matchup versus LeBron and the Heat. This time, the Bulls have the edge, going up 3-2. But the big three in Miami, of course, force a game seven. Game seven would be very close. To Ish Smith now. Good love to LeBron James. Back out to Harden. To Rose puts up the shot. Oh my God, what is that? What the hell? How did this Smith just get wide open? Been great pass to Joaquin Noah. And the Bulls take a two-point lead. They're balling. Luol Deng, good defense. You're a great defender. I think he stepped out of bounds. Let's see if he can ice the game. Rose for the icing. It's good. 
What a mid range from Derrick Rose. And they take a four point lead to Ish Smith. He's going to pull a three, and it looks like the Bulls are headed to the NBA Finals. In the Finals, it's the Dallas Mavericks who have a Dirk Nowitzki in his prime. The Bulls easily go up 3 1 and finish them off in game five. And finally, Derrick Rose is an NBA champion with, of course, the finals MVP being Rose himself. Let's go ahead and see what the upgrade is going to look like for Derrick Rose. He's already very, very good. Uh, rebounding badge? All right. He's going to be Russell Westbrook. So Derrick Rose's overall does not change, but his stats definitely should. And Rose's challenge for this season is to make the NBA Finals. This year, he manages to make an All-NBA second team starting off dominating the Orlando Magic in a quick five-game series. And with the duo getting better and better, they sweep through the Hawks, once again playing the Miami Heat in the conference finals. This time, LeBron wants his revenge, going up 3-1 and finishing off the Bulls in Game 5. Derrick Rose hits the big 98 overall. He's going to have to take a downgrade, though, at this point, and it looks like it's going to be shooting minus three overall so derrick rose goes from a 98 to a 95 overall and there are talks of james harden leaving in the off season and our challenge this year is to make the conference finals derrick rose makes an all nba second team his rebounding stats going way up unfortunately getting injured right before the playoffs being upset by the 76ers in round one after this tough loss harden takes his talents elsewhere snaking Derrick Rose. Unfortunately, we have another downgrade wheel for Derrick Rose. I really don't want it to be something that bad. Oh God. Oh God. I mean, it couldn't get much worse than this. 2K Sports has the worst team in the West being the Clippers, while Eric also says the Clippers, and so does uh, NBA.com. And so Derrick Rose has to join a Clippers team with an aging Dirk Nowitzki. What is our challenge going to be for Derrick Rose? What does he have to do in order to get an upgrade? It's been a while. Maybe something, yeah, make second round. In round one, they have to get through Cousins and Kevin Love, where they would get completely destroyed by this great big man duo. And because this series does not allow three downgrades in a row, let's see what our challenge is going to be, which is going to be to make the playoffs. In 2017, almost averaging a triple-double, Derrick Rose wins the MVP. And finally, Derrick Rose gets past the first round for the first time in two years, going up against his old teammate James Harden, where Rose would literally disrespect Harden and the Jazz, stepping over him in the process. The Clippers go up 3-2 on the Lakers in the conference finals, finishing off the Lakers in game six, heading back to the NBA finals versus LeBron, Kyrie, and the Cavaliers, where this series would be very close tied at 2-2. Game 5 would be a LeBron and Kyrie masterclass with Game 6 going down to the final minute. This scary guy right here, Kyrie, they go right into LeBron. LeBron bodies his way inside, gets the easy layup to go. It's a one-point game. Derrick Rose inside, kicks it out to Wise for 3. Bang! This could possibly ice the game. Derrick Rose now Good pass into McLeod again. Inside, LeBron punishes his way inside. See if Danny Green misses any free throws here. First one is up and it's miss. There's still a good chance here for the Cavs to tie up this game. And it's another miss. Are you kidding me, Danny Green? Guarded by Danny Green. Spin move. Inside. Gets the dunk. Seven seconds. Let's see what he makes a move. Danny Green to Wise. That's good defense. It's blocked by LeBron James. In overtime, the Cavaliers keep a three-point lead. Derrick Rose with it, guarded by Kyrie. Rose inside. Good layup, and it's good. LeBron James kicks it out to Humphreys. J.R. Smith wide open for three. It's good. The Clippers just fall short to LeBron James and the Cavaliers in six games. As Derrick Rose drops to a 93 overall, he snakes all Clippers fans, joining Kevin Durant on the Mavericks. Luckily, Derrick Rose does get an upgrade for literally winning the NBA championship, and it looks like we're gonna get plus three overall, exactly what I wanted. Derrick Rose climbs back to a 97 overall from this upgrade, and this new duo must make the finals in order to receive an upgrade. And with the upgrade, Derrick Rose drops 27, nine and eight, winning yet another MVP. This new duo in the West finds lots of success in the playoffs, sadly losing in seven in round two. But for the first time, Derrick Rose has peaked at a 99 overall. And it looks like our downgrade is going to be, no way, it's tank, okay. Lose rebounding badges. All we have to do is make the playoffs, where the Mavericks somehow fail at doing as Derrick Rose suffers his first bad injury and Kevin Durant leaves 
after finding no success playing with Rose. So once again, we are spinning the downgrade wheel for Derek Rose, and it's time to see what we're about to get here. Uh, lose dribbling badges? That's a tough one. It's really just him here in Dallas. The next best player on his team is Gortat. And our challenge is to make the second round. Derrick Rose does make the All-NBA second team, and he's not able to carry this team as they finish 13th in the Western Conference. As we enter the modern era, the Mavericks draft Anthony Edwards with their second pick. And our challenge is to make the second round, where Rose is a steady second team All-NBA, beating the Warriors in round one, and then the Pelicans pretty easily. Once again in a seven game series with the Rockets. This time it's the Mavericks coming up on top. And Derrick Rose is heading back to the NBA Finals, playing Jalen Brown and Anthony Davis in the finals, getting completely swept in the finals. They destroyed us. We did lock in an upgrade for Derrick Rose. Let's go ahead and see what the wheel gives us here. And it looks like, okay, some hot zones. This one is new actually. And I wanna see if this maybe improves uh, his shooting. And our challenge this year, in order to get an upgrade, is one of our last challenge wheels since he's getting older is to win an NBA final since we were very close last year. Derrick Rose once again makes an All-NBA second team. Unfortunately though, losing in round one. At 34 years old, Rose is still at a 95 overall. This is our final downgrade wheel and let's see what it will give us here. And oh my goodness, of all people, we're losing a season to injury. Unfortunately, this is possibly the worst one you can get as Derrick Rose is gonna tear his ACL at the age of 34. Obviously, as expected, the Mavericks missed the playoffs, but this is great timing as they land the number one pick in the 2023 draft The Mavericks select Victor Webinyama. And there's a new trio in Dallas. Their first playoff series, however, is a loss to the Trailblazers. With Rose naturally regressing to a 90 overall, luckily his teammates help him reach his last first team All-NBA. And the new trio finally wakes up, sweeping through the Spurs, and then beat the Suns in six games. I just gotta pause the video really quickly. What is this? There are two Phoenix Suns teams. I have no idea what's going on. Derrick Rose is the first player to beat the same team twice in a postseason. They play the Pacers in the finals, who currently have Ja and Trey Young. And this is a close series. Mavericks taking a 3-2 lead in game six. The Pacers have a two-point lead late in the fourth. They go into James Wiseman. He's got a mismatch. He's gonna take it in on Derrick Rose and finish the layup. Here's D Rose with it. Come set a screen, Derrick. Somebody needs a three right now. No need to force it up. Tobias Harris is gonna pull a three and misses. Damn it. And it looks like the Pacers are gonna force a game seven. In game seven, it once again comes down to the final two minutes. Lots of time in this game. Good defense from Vic. What a block from Victor Webinyama. That's why he's here. Here is Howard with it. Anthony Edwards in the corner. Bang! Huge shot for Anthony Edwards to go up one. Derrick Rose guarding him. This is big. Screen comes into James Wiseman. Puts up the layup and it's good. One point gain. The Pacers are not going anywhere. Derrick Rose, he's been in this position before. Tough shot. What a play from Derrick Rose. Please don't choke this. Oh my God, they're probably going to hold down to the last. Ja into Wiseman. Great defense from Victor. Victor, just keep your hands up. Get what a block from Victor Webinyama. And that may have just won them the NBA championship. Deep three, it's off. And the Mavericks are NBA champions. Derrick Rose at the age of 36 is once again a champion. And he's looking to make one more push, beating the Grizzlies in round one. Unfortunately, losing to the Spurs in the second round. Derrick Rose returns to Chicago at 38 years old for one more dance. Sadly, missing the playoffs in his final season, retiring as a Chicago Bull. Rose finished as a two-time champion, four-time MVP, a seven-time first-team All-NBA, and one of the greatest point guards in NBA history. If you enjoyed this video, check out these two videos on the screen right now. Make sure to like and subscribe. Peace, boys.